in the last session we had done linear regression now what we would do is we would go ahead and do a logistic regression application and further we would be doing the other models as well so let's quickly bring up the rattle application for ourselves so i'm going to just type library rattle okay so my rattle is in now i just call the application and there it is now uh, uh, for a logic regression model so what i'm going to use over here is the uh, data set which you have already used in your third modules of r or python uh, for the project right so you had an hr data set wherein you had attribution as one of the variable which you were using for classification i'm going to use the same data set which i have kept on my desktop as an excel file uh, obviously it has three four sheets one which describes the uh, the data this and what is the assignment all about the second is about uh, the variables and which one of the variables is actually the dependent variable uh, the third one is the training data set and i guess the fourth one is the testing data set right so i just uh, quickly open up the sheet for your reference so this is how the data is so this is the brief about the data that this is the hr data set uh, obviously as part of your assignment what you're supposed to do is mentioned over here i'm not getting into the details about that and uh, what all steps you're supposed to do is the data cleaning manipulation modeling testing and analysis as expected uh, obviously in the code form uh, over here we are going to do that in uh, in a gui in the second sheet it's mentioned which one is your dependent variable that's attrition and the rest of the variables are basically the independent variable you have two data sets over here the training data set and the holdout data set I'll be showing the application on the training data set, right? And something I, I will be keeping as uh, as what you can say, something you have to do yourself also, right? Like a homework kind of thing. Okay, so I'm closing this file. I'm opening my R Studio and my Rattle. Now, uh, if you try to open the data as a file directly from here, right? So, for example, you try this uh, and you go on the desktop. Uh, obviously it's not a csv file right it's an excel file and you say excel files still i'm not able to see that file see there are a lot of different file formats and within that application the file might have been saved in an excel microsoft excel format or it could be something which is an open source format so it's not showing up over here and obviously rattle is not a very very uh what you can say uh, it's not funded basically so obviously you will have certain limitations if i say all files and then i say that file which is all machine learning or ml models dot xls it shows up over here now if i try to open this okay and if i say execute over here all i'm getting is the data like this that means it is directly reading the sheet first first sheet right and that doesn't obviously have any data so it's it's completely wrong it's not making sense so what i have to do over here is i have to go on my import data set from rattle so there is a little bit of work still left right so what i'll do is i'll go on the import data set i'll use from excel and I, the, what i'm doing is i'm actually using r studio import features i go over here in the browse i get my data set from here okay so this gives me the first sheet right this is the default first sheet i have the brief sheet i have the spec sheet i have the training data set so i'm going to just click on the training data set and here comes your data beautifully uh, just check on the parameters first row as name that is correct everything is fine and i say an import now this is sitting on your r studio now right you are going to use the rattle so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to select the r data set now what you would observe is your r data set is basically nothing but the data which you have in your memory over here okay so now this is here so it is 33 variables 1470 observations so what i can do now is i can select this data okay i don't want a partitioning of the data you can do it for yourself this is your usage you have an edit option also over here wherein you can basically do some edits right but not interested so i have this now what i would do is i would do an execute 
you will see a little bit of uh, variability as compared to the standard data sets we had so you have to browse a little bit more over here right but the content remains the same right I say edit now because the data is in I have this data in my system now so that's how you get it into rattle not directly but indirectly through the R data set what is our data set your data in the memory then you can call it over here if this is removed from here you won't have access over here okay so I'm keeping all these variables you can see these are all the variables this is my dependent variable let me check whether it is marked as my target yes it's automatically marked as your target variable I don't need to put any efforts right so this is your target variable okay I'm not getting into the uh, other aspects right so for example uh, if you do an explore now right if you want to do summary of this data you can do that okay so it gives you quite a good amount of detailing of the data you see over here these are for the class based data the levels for business travel non travel travel frequently travel rarely departments educational field gender male female job role right and this is the actual summary so age is mentioned over here minimum 18 maximum 60 you can graphically have a look at all this data by going into the uh, distributions right you can uh, look at uh, the charts histograms and so on so that would basically give you more intuitive understanding of the data right so say for example you go into the distributions now say age you can have a box plot of this uh, there are so many variables right so obviously you need to put quite a bit of effort to check all these things right so say i'm just putting this part and when i'm doing a box plot i'll typically make sure that i'm not doing it for a class based data I'm going to do it only for something which has uh, numbers more in it. Obviously, education is a class-based data. 